As mentioned previously, the Ian channel has ceased delivering certain information, because it has now switched to Ian.TV. What many of you may not be aware of is that our website has continuously been hacked mostly they're trying to interfere with SaaLimited.com. Why? Because Sa is one of the greatest threats to their system, how so? Because Sa is one of the greatest threats to their system, how so? In the past, the attorneys and the judges controlled arbitration, which means they control the outcome. Then comes along Bradley Christopher Stark, who read and researched the Federal Arbitration Act along with Demetrius Hawkins and Michael Rydelt, and they assign a regular person as an arbitrator. Eventually they bring this information to Ian's attention. Eventually they bring this information to Ian's attention, and shortly thereafter he realizes that there were no objections to the assignment of this private person as an arbitrator. Which means by pure logic that they could not object to the creation and assignment of arbitrator matters to a private arbitration association. In fact the logic was, since all arbitration associations are basically corporations, then they are not government. As there is no provision in law for the establishment of an arbitration association under government authority, but wait, yes there is, how can one say that? The United the United States Federal Arbitration Act specifically states at section number 5 of Positive Law Title 9, that the parties in their agreement get to choose whom the arbitrator should and would be. So one can deduce that under the United States Federal Arbitration Act, an arbitration association and the arbitrator associated there to receive their authority under said act and the contract between the parties thus making them federal agents so to speak. And then, and then the United States Congress confirming that individuals can have a private contract with the government that involves commerce and that the government can be held liable under said contract, and that arbitration agreements associated with such contracts are binding, valid, enforceable and no one has ever rebutted the congressional findings, and since that was done in 2016, and this is 2022, they cannot at this time attempt to do so. The bringing back of redress right to YouTube was a no-brainer, since that individual's main focus was on helping individuals redress their grievable issues. The redress website can be found at this link, HTTPS www.youtube.com slash channel slash uch by 3 skhfrxrxcx 7 point slash there will not be a plethora of videos as in the past but what we can assure you is that the information will be vital and pertinent www.youtube.com slash channel slash uch by 3 there have been complaints in the past that individuals cannot handle a lot of information that their minds simply can't hold such details and we understand people have simply grown dumber and are senile and are mentally retarded this is no joke for look at society and if anyone can rebut a presumption I say prove it. And so since people cannot handle details, we will tell you where to get the information, and it will be based upon your ability to comprehend, to do your own research and your own homework. That you will- That you will be so directed. As in the past so will it be now. There will be absolutely no commenting. Now if all you have going for yourself in life is wanting to comment on somebody's video because you need to get your point across, you have an opinion, so be it, go someplace else. Because it ain't happening. Information such as getting everyone to understand that if they contact the Library of Congress and Information such as getting everyone to understand that if they contact the Library of Congress and got a copy of the Act to abrogate the Gold Clause of the June 5th and 6th Act of 1933 or 48.48 Stat all of them involving the same law that has not been repealed, which is not Stat all of them involving the same law that has not been repealed, which is not a code or a resolution, but a statute at large and you file that on the record with every single claim of any party saying that they have the right to receive a payment from you. And you send them an R style. And you send them an R style money order or a bill of exchange as tender and payment equating to a government obligation, which is a medium of exchange equating to a dollar for dollar discharge payment. None of you will be losing any property henceforth. I saw a video and the individuals were talking. Information such as getting everyone to understand that if they contact the Library of Congress and got a copy of the Act to abrogate the Gold Clause are the June 5th and 6th Act of 1933, or 48.48. Stat all of them involving the same law that has not been repealed, which is not a code or a resolution, but a statute at large. And you file that on the record with every single claim of any party saying that they have the right to receive a payment from you. And you send them an R style money order or a bill of exchange as tender and payment equating to a government obligation, which is a medium of exchange equating to a Dollar for dollar discharge, payment, none of you will be losing any property henceforth. I saw a video and the individuals were talking about some current information that people are somehow believing is somehow new information. And so I contacted the individuals letting them know that the information may need to be solidified by the reliance on an amending of the so-called code. One of them simply said thank you, and the other one said I know what I'm doing, I got this. I wanted to say, man do you know who I am, I've been doing this way too long, I am trying to save you heartache and pain, and so I wanted to say, man do you know who I am, I've been I wanted to say, man do you know who I am, I been I wanted to say, man do you know who I am, I've been doing this way too long, I am trying to save you heartache and pain, and since you're putting this stuff out there in the public,
and people are going to follow what you're saying, should you not be a little bit more accurate and, even for your own personal use? Could it not hurt you just take it for what it was? But I did not. Why not? Because I don't control the world. I don't control information. Everybody has to have their own experiences. I did tell the individual about an experience where an individual ended up in jail. And it took me a... Because I... Because I... Because I... Because I don't control the world. I don't control information. Everybody has to have their own experiences. I did tell the individual about an experience where an individual ended up in jail. And it took me a year and one half to get on the judge's nerve and the systems to get that person released. Even to this day, you all do not realize the amount of effort it takes to do what the scriptures say the woman did with the so-called unrighteous judge. How she kept going to the judge and pleading with him for justice and this unrighteous judge ignoring her and she kept going back. Eventually the judge says, I'm going to give her what she wants so that she will stop pummeling me to death. I operate with that very same method of operation. And I can only tell you that it continues to work for me. The idea is to keep hitting them in the head until they get it. Keep hitting them in the head until it works.